Well, the first thing we have to remember is that President Obama does not have a very good track record when it comes to job creation. His first effort at job creation failed miserably, and this one really is almost identical to that one, except it's a little bit less money. And so that's why I can't support it. I can support a real job creation bill because I think job creation is the number one issue in America. And I think if you want to know what's standing in the way of job creation, we have to talk to the job creators who are telling us that it's strangling regulations, a uh, complicated tax code that has to be reformed, and this debt burden that hangs over us like a dark cloud. These are the things that are standing in the way of people starting a business or expanding an, uh, an existing business. And by the way, nothing scares them more than the prospect of tax increases. Even the president himself admitted this earlier this year when he extended the Bush tax cuts. Now he's changed his mind. So I think this is the wrong approach. I hope that I can work with my Democratic colleagues and the president on a real jobs bill that gets America back to work.